hello everyone welcome back to the channel in today's video we are going to learn how we can bulk delete disabled or soft deleted users from power apps environment so this is a generic activity which any power platform administrator would like to do because if the users gets deleted from mt5 as your directory then those our users get into the disabled or soft deleted state into power apps but doesn't automatically get deleted so we may want to clean up those disabled users which are not any there any more into the environment so we are going to learn the process of doing it so right now i'm into my power app studio and i would be choosing my xmd environment which is my default environment and would go to the administration of it using this gear icon clicking admin center and i wish to go to the environment setting so that i can view my environment users which are active or which are disabled so that we i can have a quick look and then later on i will decide like whether to write a clean up bulk job so that it everything can be deleted in one shot so i am just selecting my environment and i'll just go to the setting and initially i'll just go to the users and permissions and we'll choose the users and from the filter we will see like who all users which are into disabled state and i wish to clear them out so i'll just select this disabled user and i could see like there are a bunch of them and there i would be writing or would be creating one bulk job which would be clean up these users from the environment So I'll go again back to my environment settings, and I wish to before doing any deletion operation, I wish to enable the audit logs so that I can actually uh, see whatever uh, the logging which is being happening into my uh, this environment. So I've just enabled the start logging, and I'll just want to keep the. 30 days of log period and save it so it, this has to be enabled so that we, you can keep a track of your uh, i mean whatever actions is been taken into that environment and after that uh, you have to if you wish to like keep everything related to users then you have to again go to the tables and find out the users table so that we can have the logging enabled on the users table specifically so i'll just search for my user and i'll just go to this setting or the advanced or the properties of my this table and we'll go to the advanced options and would we'll make sure that i have this audit changes to its data enabled so that every action which is being done deletion of users or adding of the users should be tracked and in future if i wish to have a uh, i wish to want to have a look on my user table then i i could do that So once it's done, I would be all set to go to the bulk deletion job. So we'll just take a moment. So again, I would start from my environment, then setting, and over here in data management, we have this bulk deletion option. And if I click on it, it gives me an area where all the active jobs are running. So right now you can see like there are many of the jobs which are by default jobs which are running. and as i say like uh, we wish to create our own new one so i'll just click click on new and go to next and i would select my users table over here so right now you can see like whatever tables or uh, the entities which are there into my environment it gets listed over here and you this views the default system views are listed over here we can create our own as well and you see like if all the active accounts inactive accounts so that's a view uh, we are going to choose but on the user table so i'll just search my user table scroll down and just select it and from the view i could see i have this disabled users view soft deleted users view so these are the two views which i would be working with so soft deleted So whenever we are deleting any user from Office 365 or MT365 Azure directory, then it gets to the soft deleted state for a time period. So that time period depends on the setting, the seven days or thirty days. After that, like it automatically goes to the disabled state. So right now, if I just select the soft deleted users in my environment and just click on preview records, I am not having any because the inactive users was deleted. I mean, uh, I think far back in time. So I would be just going for the disabled users. 
and right now you can see like this is the area where the query is being uh, written or uh, generated so you can actually add up the conditions for yourself for example a couple of accounts which you wish to still keep then you can just have those conditions added into group and and group all and if you don't think you can just click on preview so right now i can see like uh, there are four five uh, records which are coming up and these initial one is these three last are users these are teams so you can modify your query whatever you wish to have but i'll just say clean them out so i'll just say next and the name you can specify sanity users bulk deletion and you can keep the timing so if you wish to like uh, just identify when you created this job just to help you out this immediately run is depreciated so you have to actually like after saving it you can dis you have to decide like which time period it should run and i'll just say this should run soon after we create so i'll just set my time that is to 30 let's say and you can also schedule it like if it should run every after 30 days 7 days you can keep it and mark an email to your admin account so that you can actually see yeah the job did uh, work well or not so i can just write in my account over here and say as yes so enter a start time later than current time so i need to actually move it to 3 30 and i just created this job so right now it says like bulk deletion record runs in the background and you can continue using this dynamics 365 with bulk deletion in progress and i'll just say submit and it should create it my job i can actually search or scroll down to look at my this job so that starts with x so that means like it should be last i can just directly click on x yes and uh, it's still in status as waiting it must be initializing so if you click on this you will get all the details which we filled out initially and what it does still waiting for its time and at the schedule time it will run and delete all the uh, records which are matching through that query which we have specified by creating this job so this way we can we can have the bulk deletion in place and uh, this is not just limited to users like whatever bulk operation you wish to do with your tables then you can write the jobs the data deletion jobs or there are number of other jobs you can create so this was the purpose of the video just to familiarize you with the bulk deletion approach cleanup approach of the users and i hope like you may find it useful so that's it for today thank you